Let me tell you why I think Mr. Rawat has chosen a very topical subject. First, one thing that is evident to everybody in the room, there have been huge changes in technology. There are huge changes in how the media is consumed. There are changing trends every day on how entertainment is being provided. And what is influencing decision making and forming opinions? If for no other reason, we should be alive to that. You know, this is not the India of 1950, okay? Where there is an all India radio, and you live with radio, public radio for 50 years, or suddenly in the 80s you invent Doordarshan, you get it suddenly. The world has completely changed. And you need to think about these things now. Second, something which all of us in India know, the overweening influence of the media over the last five to 10 years. And it doesn't matter whether you're talking about the print media or the television or any other form. It's in your face every single day. And it's not necessarily in the news for the right reasons. Look around the world. What was news of the world all about? Just go across and see what was happening in the UK and the scandal that spawned. In our own country, think back to two years ago, what were the radio tapes all about? The point I'm making is that even when you look at issues concerning the media and its ownership in India, it must be rooted in an Indian context.